So this is just a, a quick video uh, on typical problems that people come to speak to us about. Typically, they're very, very, very simple um, issues, and, and these are things to watch out for. One, if you're getting sort of leakage, just make sure that the, the mouthpiece is inserted fully and it's actually screwed down together, which creates a seal between the two. Um, in some cases, people have simply pushed it in and they've gone to use it. Obviously, it's not sealed. Um, a second common thing is to make sure that you do keep a level of um, liquid inside the tank. Some people will come in and it'll typically be very, very low, and then you'll get wicking issues. So what I mean by wicking issues, you might be able to see what look like two pieces of string. Uh, it's a bit easier on this one. You can see the string comes up, and then there's another piece of string here. These are referred to as the wicks, and they carry through the center chamber, and there's a coil wrapped around those. If you don't keep the top of the wicks moist, then when you activate it, you simply won't get much vapor, and perhaps you'll even get some burning taste. So it simply means that you need to keep it um, some le level of liquid in there. Typically, I'd recommend between 0.8 and 1.6. With this tank system, it, you, we've simply got the, the shorter wicks, or, or as I refer to them as little pieces of string. Um, again, not a huge difference, but it's, it's clearly indicated when you do take a draw, you want the liquid to come into contact with these, and again, keep them moist. Another thing to watch out for, and I touched on it before I believe, it is simply to do some basic maintenance on it. So when you do go to charge it, we recommend getting some tissue paper and simply cleaning the inside of the battery as well as the, the thread quickly. And similarly, it's a good idea to, to wipe the, the USB charger. So when they are screwed together, you're ensuring that there's a clean contact between the, the USB charger and the battery. And again, that's obviously going to help uh, for the future of the battery. For a lot of people, they get into a routine of, of charging it overnight. So in the morning, they've got a fully charged battery. And we choose to sell uh, drain batteries, which are slightly different to many on the market, which are regulated at a 3.7 volts. But with ours, when it's a fully charged battery, it starts at 4.2 volts and drains down to 3.3. So you do get that extra kick and it makes it a bit more interesting for uh, using it on a regular basis because you can get the extra vapor and the extra taste rather than what I refer to as sort of having a mundane day. Anyway, hope that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, please do write to us and we'll be happy to include them into our website or do another video. So. That's it from me. Thanks very much for watching.